And we're now learning that two people were severely burned. As you mentioned, a total of five victims taken to the hospital. They're between the ages of 28 and 73. Now, the smoke was so bad at this motel right behind me, people were starting to climb out of upper floor windows. Dramatic video of firefighters working to rescue a disabled elderly woman from an upper floor. Literally, people were starting to climb out the second story windows. They were tying bed sheets and lowering themselves down. And some other individuals along the back side of the building were literally making kind of a human ladder where they were climbing on top of each other's shoulders to assist other people down. I stepped out for, um, for a, a little bit. It's Christmas, so I, um, I, I went to pay my phone bill. I come back and I see smoke coming out of uh, um, out of the building. Ellie Barrett says she was gone just 15 minutes. This is video shot with her cell phone. Turns out the flames are coming from her second floor unit at the JJ Park Motel near Third and Bonnie Bray in the Westlake District. I'm shocked to see that it's my place. Everything I um I own, everything to my name, sentimental values, everything in that room. Dozens of people who live in the motel were evacuated right around 6 p.m. Christmas Day. I was in the house eating some bomb Christmas food and next thing I know everything was on fire. We ran out. We ran out. Yeah. How scary was that? It was beyond scary. Six people were treated, five taken to the hospital, two suffered critical burn injuries. Tenants were seen in pajamas, some visibly shaken. There were babies and children out in the cold for a short while as crews tried to put it out. Authorities were trying to figure out how many people were displaced. Everything's gone. That's it. I'm like, I'm, I'm homeless. Investigators still haven't determined a cause, but Barrett tells me she left an appliance on. A stovetop, a portable electrical. I just left it on because there's no heater in there. Fire officials are still on scene investigating. We're told there are 135 units in this building. 25 were damaged. And at this point, we do not have an update on the condition of those two who were severely burned. We're live in Westlake District. I'm Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.